Hey there everybody, this is Chavez Chavez 556 again. Back to do my review on my Ruger 1022 tactical carbine, rim fired carbine is what I call it. And we're going to just go ahead and do an overview here on it and uh, some price points and what I think about it. Okay, right here, um, this is fitted with a Tapco Interfuse stock here and the a Bushnell TRS red dot of course Butler Creek magazines got the, gotta love the Butler Creek with the steel lips got two of those and we have I have fitted it with the angled butt stock and that seems to do me pretty well and I have a single point condor bungee sling on there as you can see it's pretty tactical and I just fitted it up with this John Mason uh, flash hider slash muzzle brake which really it's just kinda there for show but I think it looks mean so I love it anyways and we got a GPS grip pods uh, grip pod systems uh, with the bipod there and that's pretty much how I run it um, <clears throat> and I used to have this on my AR, but it seems to work better on the 22 because that it really wouldn't it would bounce around a little too much with the bipod for the with the with the AR. But anyways, um, so a couple things we're going to talk about is the philosophy of use on this weapon. I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying a tactical assault um, tactical rimfire assault weapon that is great for training um, it does have a you know kind of a different battery of arms than some of the other uh, tactical 22's uh, those are more kind of pointed towards the more pointed towards the <clears throat> excuse me towards the AR platform but I like this style better and uh, it's it's a little bit lighter too I think um, and another thing too uh, would be, you know, it would make a good, um, you know, home defense or what do you call it, zombie killer, I guess. And also to a plinker, it's great for plinking. You know, 25 round mags can't go wrong. Um, not the biggest fan of the Ruger 1022 stock mags, so I love these. Um, and you know you can get a lot of plink and fun out of there, especially with some reactive targets. Uh, you also got a uh, competition gun. This one hasn't been used in a competition yet, but I'd like to. There's a couple around my area that I'm going to enter, and hopefully have some videos on those too. And of course for running guns. Running guns are fun, and people love to shoot the 22s on the running guns. I even use my Marlin for running guns too. And yeah that's that's about it on the philosophy of use now as far as price points um, the the actual gun was 200 I took the stock off and put the Tapco stock on which was 70 and then times two mags which those are thirty dollars a piece Let's see that <clears throat> that's gonna be about Well, that's 330, and then plus the plus the TRS. That was I got that on sale for 75 bucks, so that's about 400. So about 450 with the sling. I'm gonna say, um, and the muzzle brake. So, well, and the GPS, but I thought that was an, involved in a trade. So. For under 500 bucks, you can get yourself a tactical 22 just like mine, and they're sweet, man. Deadly accurate. I got some pretty good, uh, some pretty good accuracy out of it. Let, let's let's kind of go over this though first before I show you some of the accuracy. This is what I'd probably compare it to. Would be this. I don't know if you can see that there very good because of the light. This is the Ruger SR22 and it's actually it's a I'm sure it's a little bit more 
tactical and a little bit more ergonomic maybe um, but I like the Tapco stock better than this I mean with this you're still having to add stuff you know you still ha sometimes I mean you might have to add a you know a vertical grip there and you know your different Picatinny rails for that and as far as I can see this doesn't look like it comes with iron sights even so you now let's take a look at at the price point too. The price point here, I don't know if you can see that. Six twenty five is what it says retail. I'm sure that you could probably get it somewhere for like probably about five fifty. But this is what I would compare it to. Um there's a couple other ones here. Like the Sig Sour. That's a great one. Um that one's about five hundred dollars too. But there's not as many accessories for this. And if something goes wrong with this you it's probably going to be a little harder to find some parts for that. And the magazines I heard are really expensive. Um, there's the Remington. I hate Remington, so I don't even look at that one. And then the Colt Umarex. That one, I think, is pretty pricey, too. $575. So, and that's without an optic and without a grip pod. Um, you know, but it does come with the flash hider, so I don't know. I guess that that would be a good training tool for some guys. Uh, there's the GSG 522. That one I thing I heard is inaccurate. I heard that that thing just does not get good accuracy, and I get great accuracy out of my out of my uh, Ruger, and everybody loves Ruger. So you gotta you gotta give them props. You know they just did it right with this weapon. So, um, but yeah, that's. That's just kind of a comparison on the price point. Um, so, <clears throat> that is uh, some thoughts on my price point. And then the ammo I like to use in this, it pretty much eats up anything. But what I like to use mostly is this stuff. This is what my favorite cheap 22 ammo is. is this Winchester Red Box. Get 555 rounds for 20 bucks. And pretty good stuff. I haven't had any really any issues, a couple couple duds, but a lot, a lot less than the federal. The federal stuff is just, I don't know, made for Walmart, I guess. Um, but anyways, I use that, and then I don't have any examples or any boxes, but I also use, I'll use the American Eagle 22 stuff, and also the CCI Mini Mags, and <clears throat> I don't have any CCI mini mag boxes here. Um, the weight on this gun is about six and a half pounds, maybe a little bit more with the sling, uh, which is pretty good. And I have some shooting videos. I just have to dig them out of my computer. Um, we'll get some good shooting videos. Let's go over the. This is just one target that I that I had in the back of my car, so I grabbed it. There you go. This is me shooting. The Ruger, let's see, it was the Ruger 1022 at 25 yards with that Winchester stuff. And as you can see, it's, you know, all the bullets stayed in the, stayed in there, and that's standing, rapid fire, so. Not too bad, not too bad a gun. That one got right in there. And, yeah, I think, I think that with this that type of accuracy and, just the reliability and the name of Ruger. You can't go wrong with this weapon. Just because I could throw a heavy barrel on there. I could, you know, throw all the different kinds of triggers and different options for the for the Ruger that are awesome. And I just wanted to share with you about about the Ruger I got. Get some. Have a good day.